Hi there, I'm Jeff Kandel and this is Sam Bakula, and we're here to present Hourglass Redux. It's a game we put together using Phaser and incorporating Socket.io, Redux, and JavaScript ES6. Let's show you an example. Okay, so Phaser is a game engine for HTML5, and it allows you to um, just write normal JavaScript to create a game. Uh, it provides a lot of built-in features that are still highly customizable. Um, so it gives us a physics engine, and it gives us um, classes for our sprites and classes for our game, which can keep track of our whole game state. Um, so there's a lot that's built into it, but a lot that you can still, uh, still change with normal JavaScript programming. And I didn't tell Sam I was going to do this, but uh, with us plugged into the system, the uh, animations run a little slowly on my screen. So I started a little early. Let's uh, start from the beginning. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm winning again. <laughs> so you can see the two sprites are racing for the key at the end and uh, collecting coins along the way. The objective is to get the key back to the door. But in order to make things a little bit more technologically complex, uh, we've actually included some time travel elements here. So for example, I can go like that and send Sam back to a destination he was at before. And the reason it's called Hourglass Redux is we actually implemented a uh, reducer enhancer to allow you to undo any state you were at. Uh, you can jump your character back in time as long as you have three coins. You can see, for example, if I do that, Sam kind of jumped around on the game board. Um, we want to show you a little bit of the code behind that. So uh, what's happening is we have our Redux store on each client and then one on our server. And they communicate by uh, emitting every 33 milliseconds their current state. Uh, that'll update and keep everyone uh, in line with like a unidirectional data flow. Um, and as I mentioned before, we have this uh, enhanced reducer, which we've wrapped around uh, and some uh, functions like undo, uh, redo, and go to, so you can kind of control the state uh, as you're playing and uh, rewind history. And the reducer allowed us to really send the um, most minimal amount of information back and forth with our socket I.O. to per improve performance. So we're not sending our huge bulky phaser game state back and forth. We're just keeping track of um, the things that um, our two browsers need to, need to know about. Thank you. Thanks.